Hi guys, it's Lam99 here. Today I'm going to bring to the tabletop comparison between the PTR9C versus a M uh, MKE made Century Arm Import AP5. I own this and Mr. Santana owned this and I borrow it from him and uh, we went to the ring and shoot it and I love both gun the same. So and I would like to do a comparison reviews um, for you guys to see what the different, what to expect when you want to buy two or buy one or buy both of them or you only have money to buy one and you want to pick which one is better fit for you. Okay. And I would say that I love them both. If I have the money, I will buy, I will buy both of them. But I own this and this one I bought from a buddy of mine. So... Let's go from head to toes here. Um, both of them come with an SB Tactical Brace. This one was a folder. Okay, side folder blade. Okay. And the one I got was a SB Tactical Collapsible Brace. Okay. Both pretty rugged. Okay. Save the check on my MKE. Oops, Butterfinger. Save the check on my PTR. Most gonna safe. Okay. And let's do this. And let's take them out and compare the two. And this one, super, super tight. Both of them are, you know, at least on the SB Tactical stuff, they make it very, very tight. Mm. God dang. I need to get a tool to tap it out. And give me a minute. Don't expect this to happen. Okay. Let's do this. All right. I only use this uh, plastic piece because it won't damage to your firearms. That's why I like. Take them out and see the truth. God, Lee is on there. Yeah, the SB is pretty tight, guys. It has the same thing with that SB tactical tool. I'll probably need to use it for both of them. Okay. HK takedown pin look exactly the same. But it doesn't seem like a quick take out. So, yeah. oh my god, the freaking thing was tight on here. Holy cow. Mm. Mm. We're going to use this thing to tap it out. There you go. Damn, very tight. All right. Time to get the SB Tactical out. I'm gonna get mine out too. Mine, oh, mine's not bad at all. Just pull it right out. Okay, all right. Okay, both made the SB Tactical, both pretty tight fit. Okay, put the hammer on the side. I'm gonna need this anymore. This old Zeta dog here. Okay, all right. Let's get the bolt out. Is there any difference? Oh, wow. Yeah. One thing. See the lower drop free? This one kind of challenged because yet there's not a push pin down here. You put a push pin out. Okay. On the receiver, the MKE does come with a legitimate HK put pin. And the uh, PTR came with a little rope in here. And for me, it worked the same. Okay? At least on the MKE, you can use the standard HK. Uh, what do you call it? Um, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, trigger housing. There you go. Trigger housing. Okay? And the MKE, see it's all... They don't have a hole in it, so you see the difference. All right, and look in the lower. 
you put it on the side here. The PTR. Oh, I don't want to get it mixed up. Man, it's all very tight fit. Holy cow. Need to be break in, guys. All right. The MKE versus the PTR. I can't tell a difference between the two. Can you tell a difference? I can't. Can't make the exact same kind of material. Well, the hammer spring kind of different on the uh, PTR. I mean, on, yeah, PTR. Okay, the trigger housing cut exactly the same. No happy trigger lever on each one of them. So both are designed for same automatic. Okay. And let's see the bolt carrier groups. See if any different. Okay. <clears throat> both came with a recoil and recoil spring rod. Look exactly the same. Okay. On the bolts. I believe that um, PTR used the almost 100% direct copy of the MP5. And this one here, the PT, uh, the, the MKE was made with HK tooling. Okay, fit and finish are both gonna phenomenal. Okay. And on the PTR, on the bolt, actually mark PTR. Right here, hold on my dirty hand. Right there, mark PTR. Okay. MKE, let me see how many marking on the boat. I don't see any marking on the boat. Okay. And there's part number. 148, 148. Is it part number or? Oh, no, it's a serial number. Last three is the serial number, 148. Okay. It's just a bit rough here somewhere wipe my hand with okay and let's see what's the different on the boat carrier boat carrier both exactly the same but surprisingly this baby here the ptr got this i wouldn't say it's a happy trigger um it's a full auto boat and the mke is not a full auto boat okay they got this part made milled out on the mke Okay, central arm import. All right. See the difference on the two? On the boat carrier, a full auto boat carrier group versus a semi automatic boat carrier group on a PTR with full auto. And the uh, central arm import was a semi automatic only. Okay, wipe it down and see. All right. Put it on two on the side. Okay, the trigger housing is almost identical. Okay, one would make with each knockoff navy lower, uh, what do you call it? Uh, so AR trigger housing. And this one was a PTR. I mean, PTR, and this one was an MKE. Okay, on the receiver. The PTR came with the welded um, Pititini rail, and the MKE doesn't. But it also came with a, I wouldn't say a claw mount, come with a knockoff claw mount. Look cheaply Chinese made, um, what do you call it, Pititini scope mount, or scope rail for the uh, MKE. Okay? The drum side is almost identical, the rear side. A rotating drum for 100, for, well, 100, 200, 300, 400. But for a CQB close quarter combat, I would say 10, 10, uh, 20, 30, and 40. Okay? I don't want to mislead anybody. So just FYI for you all to know. Okay? Charging handle look exactly the same. I couldn't tell the difference on the two. 
other than the receiver on the uh, MKE cam with the uh, legitimate HK push pin. Okay. And interestingly, the bolts on the MKE, on the PTR won't fit an MKE because of this baby right here. You see this big piece of block right here, the piece of metal? That's a Sears block. So your fully automatic um, bolt carrier, like from this baby, it will never fit this gun. See that? Will never fit the gun, okay? But, but, okay, the MKE bolt will drop right in to the PTR-91C, okay? Just FYI, something for you to, you know. <clears throat> uh, PTR, dude. Uh, I can see there's a hose gun. Know what I call it. Other than they don't have a third hole here on the receiver. And the reason that they put this in here because of importation laws that you know, they can't make a gun full auto. Okay? So no way in hell that they can go full auto unless you have to remove this. If you have a registered Sears, then you have a gunsmith remove this. It's welded on there pretty well. There's a well here, a well here, and a well on the bottom. To be safe, they also put a little well right here as well. So you need to cut this weld out, this well. These, so that's one, two, three, four. So we'll weld at four different uh, spots to make sure that this thing on there not removed easily by anybody, okay? And the handle wise, it will fit um, vice versa. Okay, the PTR will fit into the MKE. MKE will fit in the PTR. I can't, uh, I don't want to take it out because I know it will fit. Uh, I've done it before, but not on the camera. Okay. The front side is almost identical. I couldn't tell the difference between the two. Okay. Front side, exactly the same. Surprisingly, the MKE came with a 30 barrel. Okay, half by 28, standard, 9 millimeter thread. And both come with a tri lug um, barrel for your suppressor, quick detach for your suppressor. Okay. Both came with a uh, quick mat release, the paddle mat release here. Quick paddle mac release right here. You also can push this button here. Mac release. Bolt came with exactly the same uh, bolt release push button. And the MKE mark uh, magazine will fit in the MKE, of course. Very snug. Locked in. Very, very tight. Okay. So. It would also fit in, but better, the MKE mag actually fit better with the uh, PTR. Okay, I shot it with the PTR mag, and it fit actually better. Okay, no rattle, very, very tight. Okay, and the legit HK mag fit very, very well on the gun. Okay. Can't beat the HK quality, guys. HK mat, okay. And slim handguard, come with an M lock handguard. I couldn't tell a different guy between the two on on uh, on, on on the gun. You put it side by side, you recognize it by. We recognize it by this pretty teeny rail here for the PTR, which is make it very good for your optic option. A lot of people put red dot on it. And I love the red option, anything for nine millimeter or what I call this, uh, a PCC, uh, pistol, ca P pistol caliber carbine. There you go. A new fancy term that the gun community came up with. And I really love to use that term, PCC. Uh, trigger housing put together about the same, but the MKE seems to be a little, little hard to fit because it's very, very tight. That's a... I think that's why I used the old 1970, uh, you know, 
in the 70s, the 70s toolings from that acquired the uh, part, I mean part, not part, toolings from uh, from HK, okay? Let me drop this baby in. MKU Mark making turkey. Okay. Just put back in the exact same way you take it out. And I love the I love the roller lock guy. Don't get me wrong. I love them. I love them all. I love them all the same. And I I couldn't tell you how much I like the roller lock guns. And some of you've been following my channel. You love I love MP5. I love HK91. I love you know I believe it's all gun created equal. Okay. And that's all I have for you guys, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And please share my video content to your friend and family. Uh, I don't get sponsored from anybody, so it's out of my pocket. I pay the gun full price, everybody does. So thank you for tuning into my video and happy new year to you all and God bless the USA.